BFA bosses actually got a nerf to make them soloable for hunters. Most classes can get all the way up to Rastakan, but passing Rastakan is a challenge unless you're very, very geared. However, if you're playing a hunter, you can do it at any gear score. And there's a pet in particular we definitely want to take into there because it is the best solo pet. So first we're talking about Thunder Lizards. Thunder Lizards are a really strong choice for solo content because they're a part of the Scale Hide group. The scale Hides are going to have an ability that actually makes them take 50% less damage for 12 seconds. So they get a shield wall built in. What's also nice about Scale Hides is that they're going to be on the Ferocity tree or a Ferocity type pet. So Ferocity pets are going to have the Leech ability, Predator's Thirst, where you're going to get 15% of your damage is leeched back as health. So this not only makes it very tanky because of its cooldown that it has, but also it has the benefits of the Frosty Tree. And in addition to all this, Frosty Pets also have their own bloodlust. So if you wanted to have an all-in-one package of everything you need to solo content, you can't look for anything better than a scale hide. One you can find in the Dragon Isles is the Thunder Lizard in the Waking Shore. Link in the description to the Wowhead page and also the coordinates in the description if you want to go ahead and find your Thunder Lizard. Now let's get into the BFA content because most classes now can get all the way up to Rastakan. Just to prove a point on how easy this was, I never raided in BFA. I've never, never did any of the raid bosses and I went in not knowing any of the mechanics and I was totally fine breezing by easily doing this all the way up until I got to Rastakan. It's going to be a big block for a lot of players that are trying to progress to farm out Gmod. So first, when you're fighting Rastakan, you're fine all the way up until you get Rastakan down to 60% health. So yes, you want to kill all of his followers and then you're going to fight Rastakan himself. He's going to summon Bwam Samdi at some point where he's going to come into the battle. He's fine. Just tank him and just keep fighting Rastakan. Now, once Rastakan gets down to 60% health, there's going to be a channel spell that Bwam Samdi is going to do into Rastakan. You're going to see the animation for this. And you just want to blow all of your cooldowns, including Bloodlust, your pet ability that is Bloodlust. And then you got a solid five seconds, five, 10 seconds while the dialogue is going through through. Just know that the, at the completion of the channel, the completion of the dialogue, there's going to be an instant kill mechanic. However, you can skip over this if first, if you have enough burst that you can just get him down to 25% health and skip that entire phase. Or if you don't have enough damage to do that, you can skip it by feigning death, right? So you're going to blow all your cooldowns, damage him for during the, the dialogue. And as the dialogue is finishing, go ahead and feign death, lay back and just let your pets do all the work for you. The pets will finish him off and not too long. Next thing, you're going to head on to the next fights. Next fights are not too difficult, but once we get up to Jaina, and there's nothing really big to, to worry about, like one-shot mechanics or anything. The only thing is, is that just you're going to build up that frost meter in the bottom. There's no avoiding it because you can't stack up on other players. You're the only player in there, which is fine because she doesn't deep freeze anymore, which was a one-shot mechanic that existed before this patch. Fight her, let your freeze stack up, and then you're going to head off the boat on this side and just progress down there, fight the four mages that are channeling Howling Blast, and then interrupt Jaina's cast after you fight all of them. And then you just DPS her down like normal. Make sure you're getting your low hanging fruit, picking up your easy champion gear each week with the rotating awakened areas. If you have any questions on that, I have three videos going over the, each of the three different rotational weeks. Coming up here soon when all areas are empowered, it's gonna be important to know how to do all those events. Go ahead and take a look at the description. There's also a guide where you can get up to level 515 gear without ever touching anything but LFR. And I suggest trying out the scale hide in a lot of other content too. It's a really strong pet for soloing content. All right, everyone, if the video did help you out today, please rogue strike the like button. If you want to stay tuned for more wow content in the future, please bash the subscribe. I appreciate your time and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.